What's up guys, Chris, Legendary Mana, and we're back with EV Booster Box Game. Does anybody know what this is? Does anyone know what this is? Scars of Mirrodin. Mirrodin! Probably one of my favorite sets to open that uh, you can get that's not astronomically expensive, but has a lot of good value on it. Uh, it has a lot of cards that weren't necessarily reprinted to oblivion yet yet emphasis on yet so we all know the rules by now two dollars and above we count that and we need to get to either ev or above ev or ebay price or uh both which we have done in the past for quite a few of these so let's get into it so, Scars of Mirrodin, currently estimated value is one fifty fifty eight. Open opening from the box, you know that value. Lowest eBay price is two sixteen ninety five. Shipped to your door. Have a nice day. That's pretty pretty expensive, but not bad considering some of the older sets like Lorwyn and Zendikar and stuff like that. They're kind of expensive, you know, somewhere in the fours, fives. Um, so we are looking for, say, Mox Opal, Scytherix, the Blight Dragon, any of the lands, Platinum Imperion, Worm Coil Engine, uh, sort of Body of Mine. You know, there's a couple here and there, but the foils are incredibly expensive. You figure Mox Opal is 115. I don't expect us to open one of those, uh, but you never know. Scythrix, the Blade Dragon, is at $50 foil. So there is some foil value to open. Um, there are some good uncommons and common foils as well. For instance, a common Nihil spell bomb is seven, is sixteen dollars right now, which is I think crazy. A foil common that's sixteen dollars. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into it. And I have have the pricing up, and we will do our best to get above two hundred and sixteen dollars. Probably Mox Opal or Bust on that. So I don't believe, let's see. Looking now, looking at the computer. The only thing that we have that's out of the ordinary, like that in foil is 16 bucks, which I think is crazy. Um, uncommons, we have Memnite, uh, Exsanguate, Exsanguate. And that's pretty much it. And then the worm coil tokens, believe it or not, are like four and five dollars, which I think is kind of crazy. So just just so you're aware. Furnace Celebration, Trigon of Rage, Carry and Call, and Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like first pack, right out of the gate, you just go gangbusters on this worm coil engine. All right, folks, well, that was a good video. We're done for the day, right? Yeah, right. Anyways, Worm Coil Engine, boom. Open that right off the bat. Put that sucker in the sleeve. We got a good cold $16 to start out our list. All right, starting out pretty good. Can't complain there. Let's get into pack number two. Necropede, Halt Order, and Leonin Arbiter. And I think he's worth a few bucks here and there, I think. No, maybe not. I know the foil is, yeah, there you go, 383. Can't complain about that. All right. Two packs, two cards that we can call money. What do we have in pack number three? Let me guess. Mox Oval right away. Clone Shell, Tangle Angler, and Prototype Portal. 
is our rare. I don't believe this one is a buck 26, so that will go to the not really worth anything pile. How are you folks doing? You guys still enjoying Ixalan? Not sure what, um, not sure when this video will come out, but when it does come out, um, I think Ixalan will still be a thing. Steel Hellkite, there you go. Not bad, can't uh, can't complain about that. I believe Steel Hellkite's a few bucks, no? Uh, well, actually, now that I'm looking, I don't think so. I guess because it's been printed in Commander, um, he probably has gone down in value. Oh, oh, that's right, foils are in the back on this one. Bleak Coven Vampires. All right, we got a wolf token. Woo! Um, yeah, so Ixalan, still liking it, still enjoying it, still having fun. Let me know in the comments below. Liquid Metal Coating, Ogre Gear Grabber, and Trigon of Mending, and Carnifex Demon is our rare. Carnifex Demon, I don't believe, I haven't seen it on the list. So I will put that aside. We will check, of course, as we always do at the end of the video. Let's see, what else is going on? Um, let me know if there's anything you guys want to see us do in the EV booster box game. You know, what kind of set? Is there a set that you like seeing opened and like to see if, if we can hit estimated value? Venser's Journal is the rare. I don't believe that one is of any value. I know Venser the Sojourner is, but I don't think Venser's Journal. Nope, nope, I'm wrong. I found it. I found it. Venser's Journal is $3.97. Woo wee! We end money! We end the money. Furnace Celebration, Thumbing Bird, Trinket Mage, and Shape Anu is the rare. Poison Counter. And we will do our best to open what you want opened. Within reason, of course. Not like we're going to be able to go out and get a box of legends or any you know, legacy format boxes but we can do our best skin render acid web spider palladium mirror and dark slick shores there we go that's gonna be worth a few bucks these um these lands haven't been reprinted yet but um let's see uh, I, i'll put it aside i'm pretty certain that's got to be on the list somewhere. There it is. Star Slick Shores. 11.29. So I think we're starting out pretty good so far. Be kind of nice to see a Mox Opal in there. Painsmith, Rusted Relic, and nice. Cloth of the Hammer. We keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Eleven dollar planeswalker ride. What? Oh, some of you might not even know that song. Blues Brothers, anyone? Okay, let's keep this train going. Flesh allergy, throne of Geth. Memnite. There we go. There's an uncommon that's gone up in price a bit. Dollar sixty-eight and live wire lash is the rare. I don't think I didn't see this one in the list, but I will check it later. I will check it for show. Oh show, man! Oh, man, these these old packs are really hard to open. Sometimes the the glue just just stuck. It's just stuck there. Gollum's heart. There we go. 
accentuate whatever however you say that that's a two dollar card that's been uh, creeping up here and there and hand of the praetors is the rare golem my pretty that was like that wasn't even golem that was like that was like golem meets yoda or something right that was bad don't do that again just don't do Razor Hippogriff, 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 yeah. Viridian Revel and Spence Justice with the Genosweat, the Genesis Wave for uh, rare. Jeez, I can't talk today, as you can tell. So at the moment, this card is seven twenty nine, but it's being reprinted in um, Iconic Masters. So. That'll likely go down very, very soon. Rules tip card, not worth anything. Well, let's move on. It's already actually starting to go down, so I imagine Genesis Wave will will hit hit about the three or four dollar mark. And Cool Dotha Forge Master is the rare. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh, I guess Etch Champion's in here too, huh? Isn't it? Etch Champion or... No, Platinum Empyrean. That's, that's, that was that picture. Okay, Life Smith. Thumbing Bird, Call of... That, and X... Inexorable Tide. Man, I'm just having diff difficulties talking today. Dollar eighty, going down slightly here and there. Still played a bit, and tumble magnet is the foil. All right, so so far the foils haven't been good to us, but we had some good rare and mythic hits so far. Can complain yet? Slice in twain, golem artisan. Following Tangleworm and Iziri, Renegade Leader is our rare. I don't think... Has this one gone back up? Is it still in that range where... There it is. Yeah, it's 566. I'm actually quite surprised he's, he's still around that high cost. He has been reprinted a couple times. I think just once. I think it's just once in a dual deck, or not dual deck, a commander deck. Trying on Corruption, calling, and Molten Tail Matticore is our, our, well, Mythic, actually. I don't believe this is worth much of anything, so I will put that aside. But again, as always, we will double check as we're doing our final tally at the end of the video. Oxida, Scrap Melter, yeah. Mirror, Galvanizer, Emperor Smith, and Mimic Vat is the rare. That one's a $3 card. Oh, and we have a Razor Hippograph foil. Alright, so we've sort of slowed down since the beginning of since the beginning of time. Or the beginning of the box. Heavy Arbalist, Glimmer Point Stag, Dark Steel Sentinel, and Semblance Anvil is the rare. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, there we go. Dark Steel, Dark Steel Axe, Flush Allergy, Dispense Justice, and Putrefax is the rare. Alrighty then. Alright, alright, alright. Moving on. Up. So, anybody play when Scars of Mirrodin was around? Draft it. I wasn't. And our 
Gentium armor is the rare. Um. Oh, there we go. We got a Death Touch worm token. That's uh, that's a few bucks there. I believe the Death Toucher is four dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't complain about that. Uh, anyways, has anybody at all played this during back in the day? Mirror Smith and Grand Architect is our rare. Grand Architect is not worth much of anything. Oh, yeah, it's four fifty nine. I was wrong. I didn't see it. Uh, I unfortunately, this was during a time that I took a break from Magic, so I was not around for that. Oh, start Steel Sentinel and Kadutha Phoenix is the rare. Kadutha Phoenix, I think I said that right. Cold, cold, dooth, cold, dootha, dotha, whatever. Again, making up names. Don't know what they're saying. Don't you know all the names of the guards? No, I don't. Abuna. Light, Contagion Clasp, Icor Rats, and Asceticism. 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 $10 card. Either way. Can't complain. Moving on. Trying to get some Platinum Imperion, Skithrix, the Blight Dragon. Any of these guys, man. Let's do it. Let's get there. Bloodshot Train, Gollum's Heart, Memnite, and Grind Clock. Grind clock. Had to make sure that I set that one slow enough. And oh, nice! Foil Genesis Wave. 14 bucks. Can't complain about that. It's a nice looking foil. I liked. I liked how they do these foils with the, the little symbol in there. You see that? I like that. Looks nice. Alright. So we got a foil rare, Genesis Wave. It's not bad isn't what we really want but we'll take it necrogen scutter tangle angler trinket mage and mirror battle sphere is the rare oh we got another foil melt terrain yeah it's awesome sound effects huh paid paid a ton of money for that our sponsors, our sponsors helped out getting that stuff, man. Volition Reigns, Gollum Arson, Barrage Ogre, and Razor Verge Thicket is our rare. So we got two lands. Not bad, not bad. Lands are always welcome because they are eternally valuable. Yeah. Will they dip down here and there when they get reprinted? Sure, of course. Anything does. Spike Shot Elter is the rare. No foil. I don't think... I didn't see this one in my first run through the list. Alright. Liquid Metal Coating. Wow, that's some interesting. That's... That's crazy art. Has he got like 20 eyes or something? He's like... <laughs> oh, focus! Bloodshot Trainee. Bellowing Tangleworm and Elspeth Terrell is our Planeswalker Mythic. We've gotten some pretty good Mythics so far. Can't complain about that. I think Elspeth is worth a few bucks here and there. You know... Let's see, Elspeth Terrell. Where is she? She only had ten dollars. Ten dollars. Ten dollar planeswalker that's that old. It's actually pretty good if you think about it. Dark Slick Drake. Palladium Mirror. Hold order and Dark Slick Shores is our rare 
We have two of these now, didn't we? We got one earlier, didn't we? The same one, yeah. Two in the same pack. That's pretty good. I actually don't have my place out of, of these lands, so. Working towards it, working towards it. Well, they're like 10 bucks a piece, man. You don't just buy them just because to buy them, you know? Slice and Twain, Corrupted Harvester, Rust, Stick, and Entombable Angel is well, the mythic, another mythic. We've opened a lot of mythics. We'll have to look at this at the end, but man, oh man. Two mobile angels, not really worth much of anything. It's only like a buck, so. Unfortunately, it does not get added to our list, but that's okay, because we have some more packs to open. Trigon Infestation, Riddle Smith, and Etch Champion. Oh, he is in this set. He is in this set. Come on. Duh. So Etch Champion, $3 card. And add it to our total. Cha-ching. All right, folks. We're on the final, final stretch here, the last five packs. Accentuate. Another $3 uncommon, $2 uncommon, and Serata Scythe is the rare. Okay. Four packs. Four packs. Can we get an opal? Is it possible? I think that'd be, like, if we got an opal, that'd be like our sixth mythic, I think. And Painful Quandary. Quandary is our rare. Oh, foil, Car carapace forger. Wow, look at that thing. That's pretty cool looking. It's like very mystical. Wow. No, that's, that's, that's the twilight zone. Oh my goodness. These things, man, so hard to open. All right, barbed battle gear. Mirror Galvanizer, Trigon of Mending, and Contagion Engine. There we go. We're hitting all the good rares. Contagion is pretty good. Can't complain about that. Believe. I'm just looking at the list. Oh, come on. It was somewhere on here, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, there it is. $9. $9. Ticking up that total. Do we get there? I don't know. I'm not certain if we're going to even get there because we kind of, we, we're not really hitting the big ones. We're, we're sort of, Aziri's Brigade is our rare. And a foil, Throne of Geth. I'll have to check that one out. I don't think that's worth it. No. And Aziri's Brigade, I believe is not either. All right, folks, here is the last pack. Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we make it there? Trying out a thought. Glimmer Point, Stag, Throne of Geth, and Molten S Yeah. Is there rare? All right, folks. Oh, oh, we got the Life Linker. So we got both the Touch and Life Link. This one's six bucks. All right, folks. We're back. And wow. What a journey. So. We got Contagion Engine to start out, and then we got a few of the lands, and then we pulled Worm Coil Engine, and then we hit a couple of, we hit Elspeth and Koth, and a Genesis Wave Foil. So we got some good cards. Um, so this is interesting though. Uh, I think this is the first time we've done it this way. Um, the results are the EV, 150 58 was the estimated value. The lowest price on eBay is $200 and $16.95. And we opened a total of 158. Not bad. I can't complain. However, you know, I'm kind of got mixed feelings for this, you know. It's a very big disparity between the two here but we did get above ev so that's good so i guess the result of this is well you can open up the box you may not get the value that you pay for it but 
you could very well be above estimated value. So with that said, I'm okay with that. I'm happy with the opening. I hope you guys had fun and watching the cards that we opened up. Until next time, I bid you farewell.